Hello all you YouTubers, this is Warrington Filming, Painting and Decorating Trade Secrets and today I'm going to show you how to paint uh, this gate in undercoat from start to finish. Right, as you can see you've got a white gate and a lot of uh, ironmonger on the gate painted in black. One of the first things you'll need to do is remove all the black ironmonger uh, off the gate and paint that separately and then continue with painting the gate in undercoat and gloss so I'll just give you a close up of the ironmonger as you can see you've got all that there keep, lock keep, chain, bolt etc so first thing I'm going to do is remove all that black ironmonger Right, as you can see, I've now removed uh, just about all the ironmonger, uh, the furniture as some people call it, off this uh, gate that uh, is going to be painted. And I'll show you the reason why I've moved all that uh, ironmonger. As you can see, <coughs> there and there, underneath the bolt, and underneath the chain and everything there and uh, that, that one piece I've had to leave that on I just can't get that off it's took me about 30 minutes to get all this lot off and there and as you can see it's not been painted underneath this ironmonger for quite some time different colour on the left hand side there so realistically if you know this was your gate or even on a private job uh, you, you're going to want to protect that as you can see the rust is going all onto the woodwork underneath where the iron monkey used to be okay right so my next progress uh, my next plan of action is uh, I shall uh, rub all this gate down and uh, proceed to undercoat which I'll show you in a minute right then before you uh, start to uh, paint the gate you are going to need some um, some 80 grade P80 grade coarse sandpaper or glass paper uh, you're also going to need some linseed putty if you've got any uh, small indentations or small holes in the gate okay and you are going to need a cup of tea because this is thirsty work okay so anyway sandpaper is for rubbing down the gate obviously and the put it will be for like little indentation holes here and little indentation holes going all up the gate okay so I'll need to put it you'll need to put it these up first and uh, finish your cup of tea for you undertake this mammoth task okay Right, uh, as you probably can see, I've finished <coughs> uh, rubbing all this gate down both sides and I've also filled in the uh, staple holes in the, in the timber with the putty. So I'll just show you a bit of a close-up of that. As you can see, look, just putted these staple holes up, which is more than adequate. Okay. As you can see, that's all put in there. Uh, you can use a two pack filler if you wish, or just put it, like I can say, done both sides of that. So, the next step of that is to uh, start undercoating, which I'll show you in a minute. Right, then, before you uh, proceed with uh, undercoating your, your back gate or whatever. Um, as you as you remember, my, as you may remember, I had to set the iron mongery off. This is uh, iron mongery off a different door that I'm uh, in the process of painting, but the same applies to the stuff I've just took off the gate. So you might want to consider uh, rubbing all the, the, the iron mongery down, prepping it all down, and just uh, giving it a couple of coats of uh, black amorite. So that's drying off. Uh, I would probably give this two coats. 
so this all needs to be done as you are painting the uh, the gate okay so just bear that in mind uh, I'm just now going to proceed with undercoating the gate right then before we get started uh, right the undercoat I'm using for this particular gate is uh, a Dulux trade weather shield exterior flexible undercoat uh, you've got about eight years protection so if you do prep it up undercoat it and gloss it in this particular uh, type of paint it's going to last a lot longer than just your basic stuff um, this is quite expensive uh, two and a half litre like this can fetch like 35 40 pounds but it's well worth it uh, especially if you're paying somebody to um, paint your outside uh, you're saving on labour in the future because it won't, won't need to come back so often like I say you get a good few years out of this protection wise up to 8 years compared to probably 2 years on your normal stuff ok so like I say well worth buying this weather shield Fuelix weather shield ok uh, I'm just going to use this big tub as a kettle find it easier ok also, all I'm going to do for this purpose, I'm just going to undercoat this section here. Uh, otherwise, I'll just run out of video time. So basically, what you've got to do is do these inserts first, okay? All these, and then do the flats, okay? The reason being, if you start undercoating this and halfway across this, this can start drying before you actually clean that area and you'll get a bit of a line there okay so i'm just going to do this section here for you so you get a rough idea how to go about it don't put too much paint on your brush in one go use a kettle to bang any excess off okay so here we go Make sure you're getting all the nooks and crannies. Look here, you see. You might find that you need to put a bit of bit of turps in your undercoat, just a bit, so it's easier to use. And as you can see, when I've done it, I'm going up and down. Down the grain of the wood. Another way to make your undercoat easier to use is to heat it up with a pan eater. Uh, if you watch some of my other videos, you'll uh, see what I mean by that. Okay. Like I say, well worth using the Dulux Weather Shield range, undercoat and gloss, especially on outside timber. And uh, depending on how much weather it gets, depends on how long it will last. 
As you can see, I've done them inserts now, so I'm going to do the flats. Always go with the grain of the wood. clean the hinges off, so I'm going to keep them clean. And on this timber here you go across where the joint is, where that joint is there, bring it down there. As you can see, I left this bit of iron laundry on. Very difficult to get off. So what I'll do, I'll hit this with the undercoat and uh, either paint it in black again or paint it all in white. Probably best to keep that in white. So basically, that's the procedure you've got to do for the undercoat and the gloss, all the way down the gate, back and, back and front, sides, etc. Um, you will need to just check for runs around bolts in these corners here, check for runs under things like this. Just check for runs, okay? And where these bolts and chains have been, as it, when it dries off, probably just give that another coat. I mean, if your gate's in quite a bad state, you might want to double undercoat it, then gloss it. So I put two undercoats and the gloss. Then you can even put two undercoats and two glosses on. Always better to have that extra coverage of paint. Um, yeah. You need to do the edges, top, etc. Okay. So that's basically the procedure for as you see what I've done there. Basically the procedure for undercoating the gate. So now I'm going to continue undercoat front and back, do the bottom the same and then I'll catch up on the glossy.
Right guys, as you can see, I've finished glossing this uh, gate now and all the frame, surrounding the frame. I've put all the ironmongery on. Okay, that's all been painted both sides, back and front. And uh, it's been glossed in Dulux Trade Weather Shield Gloss. Okay, like I say, it's a big must for our outside, profit, outside properties. Um, and your routine for glossing, do your inserts, follow down with this centerpiece, top and sides, same down the bottom, glossing, same principle as your undercoating, okay, but don't forget to check the runs on the, uh, on the gate every 15 to 20 minutes until you're sure it's okay, dead easy to paint, your main uh, trade secret <coughs> is a type of undercoat gloss because the weather shield is what you want. Okay, right, and so that's basically it. Uh, it's Wallington filming, painting, decorating, trade secrets. Thanks for watching the video, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, comment, and uh, why not subscribe as well? I've always got new uh, videos coming out. Okay, thanks for watching. Cheers.